Today we're going to test out one of the weirdest slugs we've ever shot. Stay tuned. Okay, Tau Flater folks, we're back out here. Future Officer Sergio is going to be shooting these things because none of the rest of us are brave enough to shoot this thing downrange. <laughs> hey, you might remember Sar Tall. He sent us those slugs made out of candy that were awfully dang good. Sar's from Israel. He built these little inertia rounds. It's got a little slug. Kinetic. Kinetic, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> slide, slide hammer. I call them a slide hammer. Slide, so slide of hammer. Uh, they're just a little uh, sliding bar. The round slides it's, up and down a bar. So. I'll, I'll explain. The, the, the theory behind it is really complex, and I'll have to do some kind of a illustration and or OG something. OG doesn't do complex. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's put these in Sergio's gun and see what they do. Uh, yeah. The way these are supposed to work is when, when these are shot, the center pin is driven backwards and becomes a stabilizing tail. The slug continues on towards the target, hopefully accurately, and when it impacts, the center pin is driven forward with great force, and that becomes a small diameter steel penetrator. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh. Well, if we didn't have failures, then we'd be doing something wrong. The force of acceleration, what we often call G-shock, which is around 10,000 Gs of acceleration, just was too much for this slug and it broke apart. Well, let's see what Greg has to say about this. He always has something to say. Folks, this is a first for the Tough Leader Mouse channel. The, the brass slug hit here. The bar flew in and landed sideways and then ejected itself out the top of the block. <laughs> One of the little brass end caps is right there. The other one flew off and landed down here. And I don't know if you can see it in that hole, but you can actually see the base of the, the, main, in there pretty the main brass slug there. Okay, let's, let's... So what we've got here is an actual 1985 cell phone. Can you hear me now? <laughs> it's the iPhone 11. You can never predict what Greg will say. Next, we'll shoot at a smaller target, a can of beans. Okay, try... Two, ready. Ooh. Good shot. This time the kinetic slug actually held together. Notice how the pin is retracting forward rather than retracting backwards. Did not expect that. The steel pin probably shot downwards as we see the just the brass body by itself spinning off into the sunset. So uh, Danny's, they're gonna, he's having a baby, right? <laughs> little baby Danny with a beard. Maybe a beard, maybe not. Yeah, he'll be born yeah. half grown. We're gonna do a little pot smoke in here. <laughs> we're gonna do a gender reveal, right? <laughs> what? Are... Yeah, we're back in California, so there ain't no telling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Danny's having a crack at this. I'm ready. Oh, it's oh, a girl! Oh, no, it's a boy! It's a boy. It was it's confused. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is he hit the target. The bad news is the slug once again broke apart. But all the pieces did hit the pot. Bam, bam. Bam. I do like this target that Danny created. It's a lot more exciting than just an empty terracotta flower pot. All right, Greg couldn't resist uh, his own gender reveal. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I'm having a little turn. <laughs> well, the slug came apart again. I'm not really sure how the little brass end caps on the steel rod were secured. Uh, I'm not sure if they were a press fit but they're glued on, but uh, it just shows you how much force there is. There's kind of a Newton's cradle effect going on during acceleration, and the parts can just be torn apart. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Man, wow. self-ejected too. And I wanted to show what it looked like coming out of the barrel, and you can see it's in pieces even before it leaves the barrel. The plastic wad wadding 
uh, gas seal, gas piston, gas check, whatever you want to call it, is just getting shredded and blown apart by the forces. The big brass cylinder bunches up the Kevlar vest and then the steel pin ends up going through Doug anyway. Flunked into there sideways, left a big old bulge. Okay, right. let's see how they shoot out a little Tony. Little Tony! Keep your hand away from the breach. <laughs> That's what my wife said too. Yes! Okay, I'm ready. Recoil out a little Tony. So far, half the battle is just keeping the slugs in one piece. This one stayed together. You can see the stripe on the back side of the slug as it rotates around and it kind of continues to rotate. It doesn't seem to be stabilizing. I don't think it would ever stabilize. The accuracy out of the SS-12 shotgun does not seem to be as good as through the longer barreled Benelli. Armored Beans. You know, oddly enough, Armored Beans is the name of my Tejano brass band. <laughs> it's a military tribute band. Okay. <laughs> when you're ready. I'm ready. Here go ahead. Go. Yeah? Yeah. We see the slug tumbling through the air. It is in one piece again, which is a good sign, but it's not stable. And it's making at least one flip in that short distance of around 45 feet. But it wasn't a complete miss as he actually hit the bottom corner of the mug canned combination and it just tore the bottom edge off the can of beans. And in case you were wondering what the velocities of these are, they were loaded to shoot at around 1,200 feet per second. We'll bring the target a little closer using movie magic. Ooh, that's scary. There's the can, the bean can. Destroyed that, so it looks like the metal rod hit the bean can, but here's where the brass slug went, and you can see right through it. A nice square keyhole in the front and out the back. Pretty nice. Thank you, Sartal. More candy though, that cinnamon stuff was awesome. We had very mixed results with the kinetic slugs. They were still pretty fun to shoot because we were hitting everything we were shooting at. And that's always a plus. It's always disappointing when the, when the slugs completely miss the target. But just the steel rod itself going sideways through that can, just turn it into scrap metal. And this is just a reminder that we have a poster campaign going on at Indiegogo. We're currently at around 60% of our goal, but you still have around a month to purchase one. The proceeds go towards improving our channel as well as the folks over at CN Arsenal. We've got a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Thanks for watching, everyone.